The news on Clip Studio Paint changing payment model starting 2023 broke the internet and the art communities across the globe. But guess what? They listened. We have now every detail, prices, surprises, and great news for all artists. So let's take a closer look on what's coming. Welcome to the Saigami Project. My name is Sunny, and I'm a published full-time comic artist, making videos for aspiring artists about everything you want to know about the creative industry, artist mental health, tips, tricks, and valuable products for the future comic creators and freelancers. I made a video on the Clip Studio news that was quite controversial for many, so now I'm super thrilled to say that this time we have hard facts and numbers, and the future is not just speculations and fearful guessing anymore. It is now confirmed that Clip Studio Paint version 2.0 is coming coming out in March 2023, so we only need to wait a few months. But wait, here comes the good part. Celsius says, we've changed some details for the 2.0 version release based on the opinions and comments we've received from Clip Studio Paint users. Any purchase of version 1 since January 1st, 2022 can be upgraded to version 2.0 for free. So new users win big time, but it's not only them. Version 1 will continue to be supported with stability updates past the release of version 3. This is huge! All of the people who fear that their Clip Studio Paint version 1 will just cease to exist or function can now calm the hack down, as their perpetual license will last them for good. There also will be a discounted upgrade option from version 1 to version 2 for a perpetual license, which to me was expected, but it's great that they confirmed it. This upgrade will cost $19.99 USD for the Pro version and $56.99 USD for the EX version. This is a one-time upgrade fee that will give you the perpetual license for version 2. We also have the price for the upgrade pass. Quick recap on this in case you missed it. Going forward, the future updates such as new tools, new functions, as a will not be available for free, but you will have to purchase an upgrade pass to get these. If you don't want to spend on this, you will be using your software with all of its current functions just like before, nothing changes, you won't just have the shiny new features released after 2023. You can get the upgrade pass anytime you wish and it will last for 12 months. If you renew it, you get another 12 months, but if you choose not to, then you will lose access to the new features, but you will be able to use your Clip Studio with all the original features features just like you did before the upgrade pass. But if you want to buy them, here are the prices. For the Pro version, it's gonna be $9.99 USD, and for the EX version, it's $28.99 USD for 12 months. These are amazing prices, you might not agree with me, but for a whole year of upgrade, that's a really great price. But wait, it also says early access to version 3 features, which is pretty interesting as so far it only has been stated that it's for the upgrades only. So it makes me wonder if the perpetual license for version 3 will come with these upgrades included. I think that would be pretty sweet and make the purchase of that version more reasonable. But that's to be seen. It is also stated again that people who bought version 1 in 2022 will be able to upgrade to version 2 for free. Additionally, if you buy version 1 by the end of this year, you will also get version 2 when it comes out. Now I'm a little bit confused about this because aren't those two the same basically, but you know, maybe it's gonna be a different process to just upgrade or if you purchase version 1 at the end of the year, you immediately will get an access, like an early access to version 2. I'm not sure this was not confirmed yet, so that's yet to be seen. But at the same time, it makes me wonder if they will have another sale before the end of the year, maybe for Black Friday or Christmas. But I guess this is something we'll see. Now, if you did not buy the software before and want to go for the version 2.0 right off the bat, the price of the perpetual license for the Pro version will be $49.99 USD and the EX version will be $219 USD. So pretty much the same as before for the one-time license purchase. If you're on the monthly subscription for iOS and Android, there's not gonna be any change and you will also receive all of the upgrades just like before. Surprisingly, we also received the time for version 3 release, and I'm not gonna lie, it's way earlier than I expected. According to this, version 3 will come out in 2024, not confirmed yet when within the year, but at this stage, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they aimed for March 2024, so people would only need to buy one upgrade pass before version 3 runs around. We'll see. It is also stated that version 3 will also have the one-time perpetual license option, but so far we don't know the price for this, assuming it's probably gonna be a bit higher. But we'll see. It might be not, who knows. 
it's sooner than we thought, so maybe inflation won't be that bad. Yay! <laughs> Additionally, we got some sneak preview on what new features are coming with these new versions, and y'all, I'm so excited. We will have a line and distribute tool for objects, which will make life for designers so much easier. I've been waiting for this feature so badly. Putting together sheets for pins and stickers will be so much easier, but just even for the simplest design process, this is gonna be a game changer. Text tool improvement, yes! Yes, this is the news I've been waiting for the most. Comic artist, we keep winning. It's not detailed yet what these improvements will be, but if they can at least get to the level of Photoshop text tool, it would be huge. If they wanna go nuts and aim for a professional lettering level, it will be truly, truly mind-blowing and really a game changer. But realistically, I think that would be more of a past version 3 feature. But even then, I'm just so happy that they do realize that there's a need for a better tech tool and they are working on it. There's also gonna be a new 3D head model with adjustable proportions. Love to see it. Currently you would need different models and have limited tweaking options, so this is definitely a very welcome feature for many, especially webtoon artists. And the last teaser is for a more realistic color mixing feature. They already been making some really cool improvements in this area, so I'm excited to see where it's going. I'm not really frequenting in digital painting, but regardless, this is great news for artists who've been waiting for better painting and coloring features. And on our homepage, now we can find some additional features that have been teased, including a hand pose scanner that can apply hand poses from live capture to the 3D model, which can be a really cool feature because their 3D movement tool is still a little bit wonky and it can be especially useful for artists who are struggling with drawing hands. They will have an integration for pose maniacs, the pose reference side, so that is something very exciting. They also have some more information on the first improvements towards the text tool, which will now allow select multiple text boxes and change text properties at once, as well as distribute and align text boxes, and support for word wrapping and test ligaments. Which, you know, not everything I hope for, but baby steps, this is a start. Of course, they will continue to add some more webtoon focus features, such as a new paneling tool, focusing on the scrolling style format, which is pretty intriguing, I'm, I'm interested to try that out. Good news for some folks that they will include additional languages for the software, such as simplified Chinese, Portuguese, Thai, and Indonesian. Congress to people from those countries, that's big. Some other new features and improvements will include an automatic shading tool, which sounds really cool, but at the same time, their automatic coloring tool was a little bit hit and miss, or at least I never really could work with it, so I'm a little bit skeptical here, but we will see. But we will also receive a more realistic brush blending, better background saving, new filters for blurring, and lens distortion and panoramas, and now we will be able to use the liquify tool on multiple layers. And this is all we know so far. I really, really wish they would have made some of these announcements alongside the first reveal of the new versions coming, as they definitely messed up the PR part there. But at the same time, maybe it was for the best that people globally threw a tantrum at them. I honestly think they still would have been pretty user-friendly regardless of boycott attempts, as most of these details are literally the same as before, and the only thing that changed is that they just gave us better information and confirmed things. But the fact that they changed the support of version 1 past version 3 is definitely a huge win and hopefully can reassure anyone who felt like they need to ditch this software. I personally continue to be a huge fan and a devoted user of Cliff Studio Paint, and now I can keep recommending it to anyone without hesitation, and that makes me very happy. How do you guys feel about this news? Leave a comment below and let's talk. I probably will make more videos on Clip Studio Paint and the upgrades, hopefully less on the news and more on actual tutorials and exploring the new features, as now I can say that I definitely will be getting them. In the meantime, if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. It's a free click for you, but it helps this channel grow and allow me to do more content and giveaways in the future. Thanks for everyone who's been supporting my work. Special thanks, of course, to all of my lovely supporters on Patreon, the real MVP squad. I did not plan to make this video, but here we are, so my next actually scheduled video will drop very soon, so stay tuned, stay safe, and keep on making art that makes you happy. Sunny out.